we've talked about some of the inherent dangers to the officer being in the suspect's guard. Notice I have a closed guard around Mauricio. He can't get to his weapon systems right now. What we're going to be showing you is a simple ground and pound escape from this position. If done properly, you'll see how effective it is. The first concern that Mauricio has is controlling my arms. How is he going to do that? Notice his thumbs are pointing down. Both He's going to control both my hands by putting his thumbs close to my armpit and gripping my biceps. This allows him to control me from punching. At this time, as he stands up, he's going to put weight onto my arms as he stands up. Notice how he has gotten his posture. His chin is in line with his belt buckle and his spine is straight. His legs are shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more and his punching posture is good. This is a very, very powerful punch for Mauricio and the officer. If by chance I do not open up my guard, he's gonna walk closer to me, continuing to punch until my guard opens up. Now, Mauricio has a variety of strikes that he can do from this position. Striking to the groin is an option. Elbowing to the inner thigh is an option. Until I open my guard, Mauricio is going to continue to strike. Once the guard is open, he's then going to grab the leg as he sees fit when he can, pass it over his shoulder, thus escaping this confrontation. He's going to create space and get to a weapon system. This move will now be demonstrated by Mauricio at full speed.